Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Still here and baby Weston. And Kaya's here too, laying on the floor. If you could see her. There she is. Say hi, Kaya. We are going to read you a book today. The book we're going to read you is Moon. Look up, look up, look up. It's me, Moon. I'm Earth's best friend. Where Earth goes, I go. We have been together since the beginning. Almost. Let me tell you our story. Once upon a time, about 4.5 billion years ago, a space rock the size of Mars crashed into baby Earth. Big old mess. Pieces of rock, chunks of earth, and even lava were blasted into space. This crash, trash, came together to make me a satellite. Yeah. Actually, I'm Earth's only natural satellite. Natural means not created by Earthlings. Satellite, I circle Earth. <coughs> She has thousands of human-made satellites, too. They're mostly metal and plastic. <sighs> Not exactly best friend material. Guess that makes me Earth's number one real sidekick. You see yourself? You see yourself? It takes me 27.3 days to go around Earth once. <laughs> it also takes me 27.3 days to spin once. Coincidence? I think not. M means I'm dependable. My face always smiles at Earth. You never see my backside. But you probably noticed I look different every night. Fun, right? Check out my phases. Waning crescent. Last quarter. Waning gibbous. Full moon. It doesn't make the wolves howl, but it makes the kids crazy, right? Waxing gibbous, first quarter, waxing crescent. And then it starts all over. And then it starts with the new moon, and it goes all around again. Right? Some other planets have best friends, too. I am moon, but I'm not the only moon in the oh solar bye. system. <laughs> Jupiter has moons, Neptune has moons, Mars has moons, Uranus has moons, and here are some moons. Of all the moons, I am the fifth biggest. I'll always be Earth's pal, but that doesn't mean we're twinsies. She's bigger, four times bigger, 6,784 miles around, 24,874 miles around. And her gravity is six times stronger. Gravity is the invisible force that makes up an apple that makes an apple fall to the ground instead of flying up to the sky. A cow that weighs six hundred pounds on Earth would weigh only a hundred pounds on me. Speaking of cows, Earth has cows and nursery rhymes and nursery rhymes starring cows, but a cow has never jumped over me. Um, I'm too far away for even a kangaroo to make that leap. The average distance between Earth and me is 238,855 miles. You could fit 30 Earths in that distance and probably a gazillion cows. BFF help each other out. I keep Earth from, be from being too wobbly. This might be the most important thing I do. And you probably didn't even know about it. With me, gentle spinning, my gravity at work. Without me, Topsy Turvy, don't worry, Moon Gazer, she'll never be without me. I don't disappear during the day. I'm always here for Earth. You just can't see me. When it's super bright out or when it's too cloudy or when I'm on the other side of the Earth. I can prove I'm always here. Check out the ocean tides. High tide happens twice a day. Low tide happens twice a day. That's gravity again. My gravity pulling on Earth's oceans.
other things you won't find on me. Oxygen, mosquitoes, plants, animals, liquid water. Things you will find on me. Rocks, really big rocks. More rocks. Nail clippers, presents from Earth, stuff left behind by untidy astronauts. American flag, golf ball, falcon feather, hammer. Earth and I have so much fun together, like when we play eclipse, solar eclipse. I hide sun for a few minutes. We play this during the day. Lunar eclipse. Earth's shadow passes over me. We play this at night. I'm always here for Earth. I'm always here for you. Where Earth goes, I go. And where Earth goes, you go. Guess that makes us best friends too. Uh, All right, so here is a letter. It says, Dear fellow moon gazers, it's easy to see why moon is Earth's best friend. Moon is loyal. We know exactly where and when we'll see her. Moon is helpful. She keeps our planet from being too wobbly and creates the tides. She's fun. You can't have an eclipse without her. In addition, Earth and Moon have history. They go back about 4.5 billion years. So next time you see your BFF, say you're as marvelous as the Moon. And that's, that's quite the compliment. Sincerely, Stacy McElty. She is the author and fan of natural satellites. P.S. Every day, scientists are learning more and more about solar systems. So some details may change as our knowledge expands, but hey, that's to be expected, right? The end. Well, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you enjoyed our story about the moon. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing baby Weston. Can you say hi? He's too busy watching his sister, Kaya. All right. I hope you guys are doing well. If you want to email me to tell me what you guys have been up to during this time, feel free to. I hope to see you soon. Bye.